Hey guys, this is Seth from the Mass Store Knife Shop, and today we have some beautiful R.L. Scott knives we're going to talk a little bit about. Um, R.L. Scott's are made in Boone, North Carolina, only about 20 minutes from the actual knife shop, and they are beautiful works of art. Even the, even the leather is handmade by him. Um, I'll wait till you see the actual knives. This is called the Compadre model, with a beautiful Sunset Damascus um, blade. Which the uh, Damascus is also made locally by Baker Forge. They make the uh, the raw billet, and RL does the rest of it. These feature, if you can see the detail, these feature a go my Damascus, which means five layers. If you look at both sides, you've got five layers of different steel, uh, featuring an 80 CRV2 base layer, either copper or bronze as the uh, middle layer, which creates the sunset, and then you have a Damascus on the outer layer. So you've got one, two, three, and then four or five. So you've got five layers of beautiful Damascus. This particular one has a stag and a uh, bobinga wood for the handle. And you can even see all the layers going down, right down the spine if you can see that detail. This one features a cedar burl with the same type of Damascus, which no two are the same. It's kind of like a, a thumbprint, if you will. Beautiful grain on that one. I love the cedar burl personally. And again, you can see that the five layers. Now, if you know anything about the steels, uh, he uses the ADCR V2 as the base layer because that is a extremely tough steel. I don't know if you all know about Winkler knives. But that's the same exact steel they use on their their military blades, if you will. Um, I'll show you some specs on that particular steel. If you look now on edge retention. It ranks, you know, pretty average, but that way it's easy to sharpen. It's not so hard. You can't get a quick edge on. Now, if you look at the toughness right here, it's extremely tough. It's hard to break or chip this steel, and it is not stainless, obviously, so you need to take care of it. Same with the Damascus, which actually the Damascus is 80 CRV2 as well. And then, uh, like I said, either bronze or copper as your middle layer just for ornate, pretty, you know, purposes. Um, but they're a great uh, hunting skinning knife. A lot of people will just simply collect it, put it in their safe, or show it through the fringe. Personally, I'm more of a collector, so I would put that up and, you know, look at it, show it off. But they are extremely functional. Again, you got that extremely tough steel, um, good handles, so extremely well made. Um, they retail for $700, which, you know, there's a lot of handmade work into this. They are 100% local. Nothing is sourced out. Even the Damascus, as I mentioned, is local by Baker Forge. Each sheath is custom made to that particular knife. This one's a little bit wider because it has that fatter stag, whereas this one is the same sheath, but it fits in a little, little bit snugger. You've got a nice clip for your belt, or even he designed it for inside your pocket even. You can, you can clip this to the outside of your pocket. Um, it's kind of like an ulti clip. I'm sure you all, all have heard of ulti clips. Um, you can probably also make you a custom sheath if you ever need one with a more traditional belt loop. All right, well, thank you all for watching. Please um, comment if you have any questions about it. If you like it, hit our like button. Now, these are only available in store. Uh, they do have limited quantities, so um, hopefully you can come by and see them in person. But if not, give us a call. But, yeah, make sure you comment on them and uh, subscribe. And thank you all for watching. Mm -hmm.